What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about I Know What You Did Last Summer. Small update. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about uh, Fall 2, a sequel that's on the way to Fall, if you even know what that movie is. And we'll be talking about this Anaconda reboot, which has found new life apparently. So just to kick it off with the I Know What You Did Last Summer update, Freddie Prince Jr. had this to say in a recent interview from 2Fab about the revival of I Know What You Did Last Summer. He said, I have been offered nothing nothing they just said that to get people excited in reference to the report that came out not too long ago about a legacy sequel on the way and he continues i haven't spoken to anyone at anyone at their company my agents haven't received an offer from them whatsoever i had a conversation with the director a few days after they announced that just to be like yo what the hell why are they saying i'm going to be in a movie that i'm probably not going to be in and she said let me pitch you the idea so she's spoken to me about the idea but i haven't said yes i haven't received an offer he also went on to say that he hasn't read a script yet blah 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 that's that's what i had to say to that it seems this is just still something that's very early in development in the early stages of course and time will tell if he actually returns for those upcoming or for this upcoming legacy sequel that they want to make he said something also about not wanting to do a scooby-doo 3 to some degree i think is what was also mentioned in this two fab interview he also did he seemed a little bothered that's what i took from from this quotation he seemed bothered by the report of him being involved reportedly with this upcoming project now i know some of you would rather actually have the character of Ray back instead of Julie because I'm noticing a trend of several people thinking that Julie is a terrible final girl. But chime in down in the comment section below. Do you think that Freddy will return and I know what you did last summer? Why or why not? And if Julie is not a good final girl to you, let me know down in the comment section also why you don't think so. I will say this. In comparison to what we had presented to us with Helen, Helen was Helen Shivers would have been a better final girl to follow compared to Julie. It's just she's leaps and bounds more interesting, I feel like, especially considering how her home life was was illustrated to us, made, made her just a little bit more relatable. But I digress. Jumping into Scream 6, Scream 6 is on its way to making $76 million in total at the box office domestically this weekend because it's estimated to pull in another 18 or $19 million this weekend alone, which is a drop, but not an unexpected drop given all the movies coming out this month. Still, there's been no official announcement on Scream 7, but we'll get there. I personally have seen the movie again four times, and I plan to go see it at least one more time in theaters before it leaves. I saw five, like eight times in theaters, which is probably too much, but it had to be done. Uh, are you glad that Scream 6 is a box office hit for the most part? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think it will end up surpassing the $140 million that 5 ended up making in total? I'm still expecting it to do $180 million in total worldwide, but we'll, we'll see how the rest of the month goes. Melissa Barrera also, just another small tidbit. Melissa Barrera recently made a comment to confirm that Nev Campbell had sent her a message prior to filming Scream 6 as like a good luck type of thing, I guess. And I just wanted to bring that up because it's funny how the crew is getting along just fine while strangers online try to pit them against each other left and right over money that has nothing to do with them. It's money that they will never see a day in their life, but yet they lose sleep over this stuff. Meanwhile, the cast and crew are doing nothing but having fun with each other. They're wishing each other the best in their future endeavors. They're supporting what each other is doing. But some people online are just trying to combat them or pit them against each other. So I'm glad Nev and Melissa are friends, and I can't wait to see Melissa back in Scream 7 if she's the lead. If it goes back to Nev, then it just goes back to Nev. Me, personally, I don't think you probably should, yes, abandon what you've set up with the Carpenters. Uh, I think Sydney being a co-focus is doable, and it's something you can manage if you are writing it that way, if you intend to see it that way. Uh, but hopefully we get both of them back in the franchise with Scream 7. Uh, no doubt in my mind that Melissa has a, a greater chance right now of being back than, than Nev, but... Nev being back would be a plus as well. But jumping into Fall 2, Deadline is reporting that Fall 2 is in development. It says... Acrophobia suffers. Look away now. The makers of Vertigo Thriller Fall are plotting a sequel after the film became an unexpected hit on Netflix internationally. British producer T Shop Productions and director Scott Mann are discussing ideas for a second movie. It's noted that they don't want to make a movie that feels like a copycat of the first. For those unfamiliar with this, I'll just go over this synopsis uh, for you. Best friends Becky and Hunter. For best friends Becky and Hunter, life is all about conquering fears and pushing limits. But after they climb 2,000 feet to the top of a remote abandoned radio tower, they find themselves stranded with no way down. 
Now, I enjoyed Fall for what it was, but a sequel concept can be I can see being fun if it's creative enough. The twist wasn't all that shocking to me or probably any of you who have seen the movie 47 meters down, but it was still like, you know, a, a, a decent movie. It wasn't horrendous or anything. There were some aspects of it. I was like, that's pretty bad. For instance, spoilers. I guess if you don't want fall spoilers, click away for maybe the next 10 seconds. There's a portion in the movie where Mason Gooding is dying or falls to his death and the backdrop just looks or what is supposed to be him falling to the ground, it looks atrocious. <laughs> Just minor stuff like that with CGI. But the movie, all in all, was was decent. I, I can't wait to see what the concept they have cooked up for this sequel. If it ends up moving forward completely and gets released, I'm intrigued. I'm not saying I'm overly excited, but I am intrigued. Because I thought that Fall was a decently made horror movie or thriller movie for what it was but you guys let me know what you thought about fall down in the comment section below if you've seen the movie or not if you haven't i would advise going to check it out i honestly would again don't expect anything too great it was just a decent fun time and i would recommend it now the last thing i want to touch on is anaconda now the anaconda reboot seems to have found new life after i recall this first being reported back in 2020 apparently this is the new rumor tom gormican who is responsible for the unbearable weight of massive talent that meta film that was kind of commentating on Nicolas Cage's life because I think he was playing himself in that movie I haven't seen it since it dropped but he is supposed to be directing this upcoming Anaconda reboot last time I heard the there was a writer attached to it I can't think of who the writer was but they wanted to do an approach that wasn't a sequel wasn't a remake it was its own new thing so not to say that even any of the sequels that exist have any real direct ties to the sequels that came or their or their predecessors they all just have been in the same universe is what I've taken from it but uh yeah he's supposed to be directing it Tom Gormican and it's rumored to start shooting later this year no word of course on if J-Lo will be back if Ice Cube will be back if any of the major players from any of these films that you probably grew up with mostly the 1997 movie I think is what people are most familiar with no word on if any of them will be back I doubt J-Lo will return to this franchise but given that Tom Gormican is involved I'm starting to think that there might be more of a comedic approach here more of a meta commentary angle that they go with what we'll see you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to Anaconda this it's reboot or anything else I have to say let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description I will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video